Well, I learned a lot about this camera today. Uh, I'm using a Nikon 3100 or something like that. And uh, not really made for doing videos. It'll only record about 10 minutes at a time before shutting off on itself. So we'll try to make this not last too long. <clears throat> well, uh, I've been... Uh, I've been asked a question on fishity about tying line on a spool. And one of the things I see on there is, is talking about how when they tie, tie on the spool, it breaks off real easy, it, uh, it, uh, it slips, it slides. Well, really, it's, when it comes to tying on the spool, it's simple. You know, you don't want a super knot on there that. Uh, will uh, you know, break your spool before it breaks itself. I mean, if you've got a fish that's on there and it's already to your spool, they just get, let it go, let it go. But uh, I'll go ahead and show off my new reel I got. It's a Ardent Apex Grand, seven three to one, uh, 12 plus one ball bearings in it. It's very light, it's 5.9 ounces. It's got EVA grips carbon fiber handle, uh, a fancy uh, star drag to it. A thing as smooth as can be, but you know, what, what do you expect with 12 plus one ball bearings? Uh, it's got a dual braking system. It's got a magnetic on the outside for easy adjustments, and on the inside it's got your pull pin uh, um, braking system as well. So I'm, I'm really excited to get this thing to work, but we'll go ahead and put some string on it and I want to go ahead and see if I can show you all that knot that I use. It's pretty simple. Today I'm putting on some 40 pound gliss. I don't know if you all have tried it or not, but uh, it's a very, it, it, it's similar to braid. Um, it's just thinner and lighter and smoother. So it, it gives it a nice casting distance. Um, and it's actually, uh, it's a, it's a pretty interesting line. I, I advise everybody to go ahead and give it a try. See what y'all think. See what y'all's preferences are. I'm putting on it's uh, this is actually the translucent color line. Um, it looks pretty white out here, but once it's in the water, it clears up quite a bit. So hopefully y'all can see it on camera. Hopefully it's wide enough so y'all can see this knot. I'll try to bring it closer if I have to. But to me, a simple knot. Sure, what it's called. Get in there. See, if you just stick it through those holes and then reel it up. around the first thing is get plenty of slack we're going to tie a knot at the very end here so they would call that the tag in just a simple knot at the very end and then you're going to go Grab it on. You're going to go around once. Try to pull it a little tight. And then you're going to tie it again, kind of like a double knot on your shoestring. What that's going to do is it's going to pull tight up to that knot that we tied it on the tag in. Just kind of back 
and forward until it grabs that knot. Once it grabs that knot, it's going to tighten itself up to the uh, spool. Pull off that slack. And all you do is start reeling it in. And see, people are all concerned about it slipping and not wanting to reel in. Just let it be a little loose and it'll catch and it'll start going around and once it does then you can tighten it up and go with it um, but like I said if you ever get it down to that speed it don't matter if it's slipping or not I mean if it gets down to what I say speed but if it gets down to your spool that much it don't matter you need to just let it go um, it doesn't need to be a very strong knot just one that's simple to break off and let them go because it's not worth breaking your spool over a fish. Now, some people might disagree with me, <laughs> but uh, I, I, I'm pretty, I feel pretty confident that uh, what I'm fishing for it ain't gonna get to that point. So, and then you just reel it in like normal, and uh, that's your knot that I, that I use, all, the only knot I use when it comes to going onto the spool. And even with this gliss stuff, as smooth as it is, you know, it, it's not going to be slipping or, or spinning on it because, like I said, once you get a couple of wraps on it, it's tight as can be, and you just crank on it and, and reel it up and fill your spool up. All right, guys, appreciate it. Appreciate you checking out my videos. Uh, if you could, uh, you know, subscribe, like, comment, share, the usual for YouTube, I'd appreciate it. And until next time, tight lines, everyone.